What is up everyone and welcome to a pretty cool general purpose run of the mill vlog where you follow me around for a couple of days and see what I'm up to. It is Saturday, May the 2nd I believe it is. I think it is anyway. Uh, nope, that is showing me my location and the temperature, not the date. Yeah, May the 2nd. And um, it is currently half past four. And I've actually been on the go all day, believe it or not. It hasn't been crazy, but it's been fairly time consuming doing the things that I've done. Um, and basically I've been eBaying all day, which is really cool. I haven't done anything other than eBaying, um, but I've got six active listings at the moment and I've sold two console bundles, um, which is great. So the console bundles that I've just sold uh, will be sent out Tuesday and they will pay for a good chunk of the new server related item that I've bought myself that I'm really excited to show you guys this week um, because this will probably be early in the week this vlog I'm, uh, I'll have something really cool later on to show you guys but at the moment I think I'm done listing, I don't think I'm going to list any more I've just put a set of two Donkey Kong uh, bongo thingies on uh, with the game because I had a spare copy of the game which is great so I've got the complete pack plus an additional set of bongos got them on there for £15 for the pair with the game with free postage which is a great deal cheapest on eBay and most of my stuff that I've listed is the cheapest on eBay because I'm just literally having a clear out um, but let me show you what I've got going um, on the listings here just a quick look through um, I'm waiting for it to refresh fully so that I can post a link to Facebook just so that everyone is aware of the retro gaming stuff that I'm selling it's all retro gaming related so I've got a couple of Mega Drives on I've got a Game Boy Color I've got the Donkey Kong bongos that I was telling you about I've got a really nice original Game Boy Play It Loud yellow um, bundle I've got a boxed Dreamcast controller for a tenner and free postage and I've got my limited edition um, purple and see-through GameCube controller which is probably going to sell very well for this price as soon as the right buyer sees it. Um, so that is that guys looking really good and I'm just about to post this to my It's My Natural Colour Facebook because um, I always say that I sh I always tell people that I'm going to share the links as soon as I put stuff on eBay and two things have already sold so I better share them quickly just to give everyone a chance to have a look. So there we have it, I've done a little status to show that I'm selling stuff on eBay and that more things will be popping up really soon. Crappy thumbnail, but whatever. So guys, my Donkey Kong bongos have just sold, which is really great because I thought I'd be stuck with those for a while. Um, £15 for the two bongos and the game, all boxed, was a really good price. Um, and I'm glad they went, but there's just loads on there, so I wasn't too sure. And here is the rest of the stuff that I'm waiting to sell. I've got these two Mega Drives in a bundle together. Uh, two controllers and the two Game Boys, not taking up too much space, but looking forward for those selling as well. But, you know, I've got to have patience. I was very lucky to sell three items today. There you have it, guys. That is now the size of the gaming stuff that I have left to sell, which is really good. Totally slimmed down, um, or at least left to put on eBay anyway. Um, so a few more Game Boys, a few more consoles, but... It is looking awesome. As soon as that stuff's out of the way, I can begin tackling the bottom of the wardrobe. But maybe I'll sort out the sofa first because that's in that's in view. But yeah, this is going really well. Really, really well. Well, guys, I know I haven't filmed a lot in terms of vlogging today. Um, but I wanted to start today because I was doing my eBay listings and stuff. Um, I'll do the rest tomorrow and a little bit Monday maybe or maybe just tomorrow because I know tomorrow is going to be quite an interesting day because I've got a couple of cool little video ideas. Um, but yeah, now I am going to go down my girlfriend's house, chill out, watch some films and just enjoy my Saturday night because it's been quite strenuous today. Um, you know, listing stuff on eBay is kind of hard when you've got to think about all the things to say and take all the photos and blah blah blah. It's not the easiest in the world, it is quite time consuming, but once you get used to it you really get into a flow, so it's important that I capitalise on this flow. And I've just got a vibration. Is this a sold item? No, it is not. Anyway, guys, <laughs> I shall catch you tomorrow. What is up, everyone? It is Sunday. Uh, it is quarter to two, and I've only been awake for about an hour. Um, I had a late one last night. Watched uh, Kick-Ass and Kick-Ass 2, 
Um, I was going to watch the Jurassic Park trilogy on Blu-ray because I saw it for £12. Um, so I went to Tesco to go and buy it and then I realised that I saw it in a different Tesco that's bigger, that's 20 miles away. So um, yeah, that was disappointing. They had the DVD version but I couldn't bring myself to buy it. So instead of watching the Jurassic Park trilogy, I watched Kick-Ass and Kick-Ass 2 which was pretty cool. Um, decent films obviously, they, you know, they are what they are. Um, I was looking forward to watching Jurassic Park though. I got them on VHS but I don't have um, VHS player uh, down Jess's house. So yeah, that's a bit of a bummer. But anyway, today we're doing something quite interesting and I'm filming a video for something pretty cool. Um, if you remember last week, literally on Friday's video, I think, I put the Mac Mini G4 down there. Now, I can't, I can't really tell if you, if you guys can tell. I'm just sitting here. Maybe if I lower my chair, hang on a sec. Let's try this. There we go. <laughs> um, yeah, the G4 Mac Mini is actually powered off. And it's interesting because the damn thing actually overheated, I think. Um, basically on Friday or whenever it was that I uploaded that video, I think it was Friday, I left here, came back the next day on Saturday and I could hear it. As soon as I walked in the door, I could hear it. You know, Mac Mini is very little, so to be able to hear it from over there is quite a, quite an achievement, especially when it's, you know, cooped up under the desk. And man, it was making a racket. So today's video, well, not today's video, Monday's video, tomorrow's video or something, is all going to be about the Mac Mini opening it up and cleaning it out. So I've got my trusty putty knife um it's my dad's so yeah i actually asked him to get that for me yesterday because um he's not here today so i don't know where he keeps that stuff but yeah just looking at twitter now getting distracted actually guys oh and i'll give you an update on the ebay stuff as well so a very loyal long time viewer of mine sam bought uh, a boxed dreamcast controller off me that i had listed so now i've only got four things listed i've got some watches on the two mega drives um but other than that i don't have any watches so yeah i know i've i i <laughs> I only listed them yesterday, but still, I get a little bit anxious. Um, but these Game Boy bundles are a fair price, a very fair price and good. Um, this GameCube controller, if you look on Amazon, you cannot get a boxed one, a limited edition, this uh, clear and purple boxed one, for um, anything near that. They're all unboxed for that price. But one thing I did notice is from the picture, the, the main picture, you can't actually tell um, what it is, but I do have rare in capital letters, but you, you know, clear may, people may not be reading that. So I may change the primary picture for that one, because you can actually see that it's the see-through one, which is really cool. I mean, it looks badass in that photo, but the only trouble is there's no box with that one, so yeah. Um, but anyway, it doesn't matter, I'll just leave it on there, see how it goes. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling really good about the eBay stuff, actually. So because I got so much on eBay yesterday, um, I don't have to list anything today. I can focus all on my Mac Mini G4, but I would like to list something today. That would be really cool. Now, you guys might be thinking, hang on a sec, Tom. It's a Sunday, man. What are you doing? Um, it's 10 to 2 on a Sunday. Now, I was going to go out on a major drinking session with one of my buddies from work. Um, we were going to do it... All day like we did last bank holiday and it was awesome started about like three four o'clock starting the pub um, just down the road from me and work our way down the valley because I live at the top of a valley work our way down until we get to town and then you know sort of everything closes up around two o'clock or three o'clock down there or whatever so that would have been epic but I'm not doing that anymore so I thought the best way for me to spend my bank holiday, considering I had a bit of a chill and stuff last night, is to do some work. I do need to do work, um, I need to make videos, I need to put stuff on eBay, I just need to continue trying to make money. Let me turn my LEDs on. Power on. There we go. So, um, I've had a lot of free time on weekends lately, so I've been enjoying myself. This weekend, I've actually got motivation to work, so I'm going to work. Um, so if I can get some more stuff on eBay today, that would be great. Maybe do my Mac Mini G4 video and then get some a couple of things on eBay and then knock off around 8 p.m. Uh, that would be something. Ah, however, one particular element that I'm forgetting is I do have family down. My brother um, and my sister and sister's husband are coming to stay. They are here to stay at the moment. They're out at the moment. But um, 
yeah, so I don't know whether we'll be doing family things or whatever. That's another thing, you know, I need to get stuff done so I can make time to spend with family. I've just had an order dispatched confirmation email for an exciting delivery um, that is going to be related to my home server project. I say project, it's something that's been going on for a long time now and I've never decided to do it, but I will be rebuilding the whole system in a rack very soon in a cabinet. Um, not very soon actually. Um, I'll be doing it this year. I definitely want to go rack mount and get a UPS and get everything sorted um, because I just I just feel the need, you know, I've got that geeky need inside of me to get a decent server up and running. But first I need to get a decent modem and a decent router, um, otherwise we're not getting anywhere. Um, so, but yeah, this, this order is very exciting. You guys are going to love this. You're going to love it. I know you are. Um, because it's just so, so cool. And it opens up many doors for the future. Not to reveal what it is, but I'm looking at it on the screen here and it's an experimental, it's, it's in two parts. The part that, oh, I don't know how to explain it. I, I hate being secretive. I'm very secretive in my vlogs. But at the same time, I just want to blurt it all out. But anyway, I'm not going to talk any more about it. There's some cool stuff on the way in relation to the file server and storage and rack mount equipment, put it that way. Um, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, I'm going to dig out my Mac Mini from the um, server shelf and crack it on the desk and get ready to start filming the, um, the video where I clean it out, hopefully. Get some compressed air. And yeah, actually look up how to take it apart first. I have, I've never taken the G4 one apart, so look up what Torx, Torx drivers and stuff I need, because guaranteed I'll need some of those. So I fix it to the rescue once more. Brilliant website, guys, brilliant website. Love the new layout as well. Um, well, I say new, I haven't been on it in ages, so it might not be that new. But um, yeah, there are no Torx screws in the PowerPC Mac Mini, and it looks to be generally much easier to take apart, so that's really, really good. The trouble I had with my Intel one when I replaced the hard drive and stuff wasn't really that it was hard, it was just small, you know? Um, everything in the picture looked bigger. I always walk into that. Yeah, everything in the picture just looked bigger from the get-go. So I am ready, got some nice light on the subject so I can see what's going on, and also you guys can. Got the tripod here. It is time to change SD cards, screw on the tripod mount thingy, and uh, film this procedure. Excellent. So everyone, as you've seen from the Mac Mini G4 video that you watched yesterday, um, it was not crammed full of dust unfortunately, so it wasn't that fun opening it up. Well, it was fun opening it up, but I wanted to blow out a load of dust, you know, and really get um, dust battling. But that is that video filmed. It's a very short video, um, but there will be more in the future because, of course, I have not sorted the issue with the Mac Mini G4 yet, unless it was a one-off, but the machine is still a little too loud for my liking. Um, so what I'm going to do now is edit that video and get it totally made and out of the way and uh, I can get that uploading tonight then which would be really really great but yeah nice little video filmed something good in the catalog be nice video to open the week simple clean I like it so guys I don't know if you can hear that in the background if you just listen for a second that intense bass um, Wow. Yeah, basically, like I said, I've got a family home, so my sister's upstairs tidying her bedroom. And um, it's amazing, because I'm never down here when my studio monitors are going, but it's so amazing how much low end they give off. Um, you'd swear there was a sub, but then I thought about it, and I thought, ah, oh, they're full range, and they're good quality speakers. So it is basically like having two subs as well, um, because they're eight inch drivers. It is really bassy in here right now, like seriously bassy, and they're not even on the floor up there, so I am impressed. <laughs> so I'm exporting uh, my video, and the thumbnail is made, as you guys can see, and I've been monitoring up my G4 Mac Mini, and the CPU is doing much, much better now. It's cooled right down for some reason, um, and it's not making hardly any noise. I really can't tell it's on, so I may give it a little job tonight. I may attempt to upload this video with my Mac Mini G4 tonight. I really don't know if it's worth it. Um, you know, I won't, yeah, I really, really don't know, guys. It's hard to say, um, but I could give it a go. Are you gonna focus at all on anything? Um, yeah, but I could, I, 
I could try it, but then again, it's a fairly, it's an 18 minute video, so if it doesn't upload tonight, then it's going to be a pain in the ass for tomorrow. Um, and my Mac Mini G4 could just give up. So what I think I'll do, instead of um, giving it such an important task, is I'll stress it out with something else. I'll just give it a tiny other little task, I don't know what I could um, leave it do. I might try and find a compatible torrent, I don't know what the latest is on the torrent PowerPC scene. Um, I'll have a little search in a minute and, you know, the PowerPC stuff is very well documented these days. Um, people are very active on it, so I can find out from a very simple Google search um, the latest and greatest torrent program to use with your PowerPC Mac. And then I might try and download a big torrent, like a, um, a 5 gig torrent or something, a 10 gig torrent, um, because on my internet that'll take ages. Having said that, if I'm uploading a video that could slam my connection, I may do that but limit the download speed. Um, and obviously throttle the upload. I mean, I'm not I'm not a bad torrent user, but if I'm uploading a YouTube video, then I do throttle my upload. At the same time, I mean, I, I've only there's only so much I can give of my connection, you know. Um, but we'll see. And I don't really have anything to download. Um, I rarely use torrents these days, you know, because um, obviously there's the whole legality thing. I do not download any movies anymore. Um, I. I'm, I started collecting Blu-rays about two years ago and every film I want to see now I buy on Blu-ray. Um, I, I used to have the motto, oh, I give what I can to the film industry because I'm a cinema projectionist so I, you know, I, I, I do my bit. But if I, if I pirate a film that damages, that dam in a very tiny way that damages the film company. If I quit my job it doesn't because someone will replace me. Um, so that's kind of the way I started thinking about it. Um, and of course, things like applications and operating systems and stuff, it's all changed recently. Mac OS is free, and there are plenty of free applications that can do stuff that only the pro apps could do before and stuff, so there's rarely any need to do much. Um, and even, you know, when people want to get things like the Adobe Suite, it's pointless torrenting the whole thing. You're better off downloading it directly from Adobe and then cracking it um, with a very small download. Um, but I wasn't even meant to get on this subject about torrents, I just started talking. But yeah, we'll see, we'll see what happens. My G4 Mac Mini is looking good, the CPU is not very, not as bad as it was at all, much better. Um, I didn't do anything, it just happened like that. But I don't know the cause of that, so I need to find out what that machine is doing. So everyone, 10.30 this morning, I'm sorry I didn't give you any kind of update last night, I just kind of trailed off into nothingness. 10.30 today, we've got a connection field to Venus, um, and if I try and capture the noise that it's making, you can probably hear that. That is all the Mac Mini G4. If I turn it off, you better hear the difference. And if you can hear that, There we go, that's the difference. So, this Mac Mini is not happy. So it is 11.35 and I've got to be in work by about half past two. So I've got a little bit of time and I'm gonna basically use that time eating, doing a bit of vlogging and chilling out because I'm working from half past two until half past 10. So it's quite a long slog so I don't wanna wear myself out here this morning. Um, I've just spent the last 35 minutes watching one of my old videos which was really entertaining. A video from the start of 2014. Specifically, it was a Power Mac G3 um, PCI SATA card and SATA hard drive install, which was an awesome video to film. And I was just looking at this video thinking, man, how much I've come on, you know, but there's so much charm in my old videos, so much charm, that I really hope I can continue to capture it with these these new videos. Really hope I haven't lost any original subscribers when they saw me going, you know, more up in terms of quality and stuff. Um, because man, the quality of that video was bad, but it was good, it was great to watch, you know. Sometimes I don't know what's best. But yeah, um, the Mac Mini G4 is off at the moment. I'm gonna think on it. I don't quite know what's wrong with it. Today's video is gonna go live later. I'll take my MacBook Pro to work as usual. 
Um, and it's all going to be about, you know, the Mac Mini. Um, it's the cleaning the Mac Mini video. See if anyone has any suggestions, because I believe in the end of that video I asked for suggestions. Um, no idea what tomorrow's video is going to be. It's either going to be this vlog, but I don't know if I'm going to continue vlogging throughout and maybe just upload it Wednesday or something. So, I really don't know what I'm going to do, but probably put this video live tomorrow because I'm expecting delivery tomorrow of some really exciting things. Really exciting. So randomly out of the blue, I've just posted a massive Facebook status detailing a few future plans that I have for the channel. I don't know why, it just felt right. It felt like the right time to do that. Um, and it's nice to get people hyped because for once on the channel, you know, it's kind of my history to give false promises and I hate that reputation and I kind of feel that you know ob obviously it's my fault right obviously but I kind of feel that this year you know starting from when I you know the end of last year and this year um, I feel that when I started five videos a week I kind of finished everything that I said I was going to finish which is great you know the ultimate desk set of project happened and I nailed it the Hackintosh project happened, and I am one video part away from nailing it. Um, and this server thing that I'm wanting to do now, and this storage thing, I have to do it. I have no choice. My data, you know, structure is, with all the drives and everything, is just appalling. It's ridiculous. Um, so I'm going to really sort that out. And it's going to cost me money. It's going to cost me even more money, but... You know, who cares? Money's money, it doesn't matter. And it makes great content. So I hope everyone's gonna look forward to the, the awesome server videos that I have planned. I just really hope I can get the Mac Mini G4 playing ball. By the way, guys, I haven't mentioned it since the unboxing and vlogs are a perfect place to talk about little products that don't deserve another dedicated video. But this thing, the Creative X mod, so glad I've got it. It sounds wicked and you guys might be able to see that I've actually got the crystallizing thing switched on. I do have it switched on most of the time. It sounds bloody great. Um, it really does. Fair dues, that is a good device. Much better than I thought it was going to be. Um, props to Creative really. It's really good. And there is a newer version out there that someone did tell me on my unboxing video. Um, which is pretty cool, but this version is is the original one that I really do like. So uh, yeah, that's great. Ooh, and a couple of shout outs. First couple of likes on my uh, on my big status. There we go. Why not? So everyone, I've just finished watching a vlog, um, someone else's vlog, and I'm filming my own vlog, which is quite interesting. It's 12:30. I'm gonna leave for work around 2:15, and I think work have been trying to phone me asking if. I'm aware that there is an extra shift today because it's bank holiday. We don't normally do afternoon films in the week. Um, but yeah, the house phone has been ringing and I pretty much despise the house phone because it's probably normally sales calls or whatever. And I did have a voice message on my phone, but I'm not gonna bother with it because uh, it doesn't make a difference. I'll turn up and do my thing because that's what I always do. And Monday is my day up there, so. Easy, easy really. Um, yeah. As you guys can probably tell, I'm quite zombified today. I'm n I normally, on a Sunday before a bank holiday, I go out drinking and get nice and totally mashed up or whatever, but um, this time I didn't for various reasons and I'm kind of gutted to be honest, but it's okay. Um, because it's been, you know, recent since the last one. Um, but yeah, now I've got to get some food. I'm not even sure. Normally what I do if I've got to stay in work for the afternoon is I just go to the chippy next door and I get some food there. But I don't know if they'll be open or closed for bank holiday. But I don't know if they... I think they will be open. Wrong cocktail crisps. Uh, I think they will be open because they're, um, they're Chinese. So I think they will be open. Um, but if not, I kind of need to take more food with me because what happens is I have like an hour between the films But by the time I come home, which takes about 20 minutes and I have to, going back there takes about 20 minutes That only leaves me 20 minutes at home. So it's completely pointless actually going home in the first place um, But yeah, I'm gonna have a little look and see what I can eat by the way guys um, I just watched back the clip that I literally just recorded just to see how it turned out because I do that with this camera sometimes because I can't see myself I'm actually using my, um, you know, my bridge camera to film this, the one that Christian gave me to film my vlogs. Um, 
and you know there's pros and cons if i use my camcorder the footage is more stable and more in focus but the footage in general is a lot worse in terms of color reproduction and light and my i kind of favor you know the latter in terms of um, priority but it is very annoying hearing the refocusing sound and stuff that this camera makes if you use manual focus it's fine um, which is what i do in all videos that i film with this apart from the vlogs um, now that's not even ideal for me because of my terrible eyesight and you know focusing is tricky for me but what i'm thinking of doing is getting a specific camera for vlogging a small camera with a flip out screen that i can vlog with because not only would um is this camera a little bit inadequate in terms of the fact that i can't see myself and the focusing issue is crap but it actually hurts my arm because it's heavy now this camera is excellent and I really like it, but it's not a vlogging camera. So at the moment, I do not have a vlogging camera. I was using my phone, but my phone, I just, no, it's not a thing. So if anyone has any recommendations for a vlogging camera that I should get, I want um, something small and lightweight, like, yeah, small and lightweight, but not too small. It doesn't have to be tiny or anything. Um, really good autofocus, optical image stabilization, a flip out screen that I can see myself with, um, good in low light, um, good in general, and uh, not too heavy, did I say that? What was the final thing? Oh yeah, the final thing is obviously not breaking the bank. So, you know, maybe around the two or three hundred pound mark, because um, maybe I could use it for some other things as well. But yeah, that, I would really want that. So if anyone is a camera geek and they know of something that I should get, then let me know, um, because now is the time that I can spend the money. So I tried to do my own research and I couldn't really find much of what I wanted. Um, other than getting a camcorder again, and I don't really know what the best thing would be. Maybe maybe that would be good, getting another camcorder, I have no idea. Let me know what you think. Ah, oh, I've just murdered a packet of crisps and that's it. Um, I'll go down again in a minute to find some food. It's, it's a vicious circle because I've got a lack of motivation because I'm hungry, but I can't be asked to make food, so yeah, it kind of sucks. I'm having a bit of a rough day. I just don't want to... Oh, I'm gonna be stuck in work all day later and everything, man. But at least I got some free hours this morning. That's a very good point. Um, but yeah, in regards to the camera thing that I was speaking about, I am actually serious, guys. If anyone knows of a good camera, I'd love to hear it. Five to one, and I need to get some food. This is getting ridiculous. I've got to do it. I've just been looking at some um, vlogging cameras online and looking at the Canon G7X and S120 comparison videos online. The G7X is out of my price range, but I don't really care about that because the audio is really crap in my opinion. I mean, I'm fussy with audio, but there is like no high-end definition in it at all. The S120 has much better audio. And another thing that those comparison videos reminded me is sometimes you don't want a screen when you're vlogging. If you get used to the um, size of the frame and the depth of the image and stuff if you're not looking at yourself then you're looking directly down the lens communicating directly with your viewers which is a much better thing um, because if you have a discreet uh, if you have a screen <laughs> if you have a screen it distracts you so I'm very intrigued by all of this the s120 is around 230 pounds on Amazon at the moment and uh, it looks like a nice buy. It's got image stabilization, I think. Um, bloody hell, frozen, frozen bread rolls, hang on a sec. Sorry about that guys, my cooking took over. But anyway, yeah, um, they've both got image stabilization and stuff, but they're just point and shoot cameras. They look like your average, you know, everyday Joe's digital camera, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because they fit in your pocket. Now, even the smallest of camcorders um, don't fit in your pocket and this thing certainly cannot so the question is do I just buy one of those point-and-shoot little cameras which would be great or do I just buy the equivalent latest Panasonic camcorder around the 300 pound mark um, I really don't know what to do it's it's odd because I love Panasonic camcorders but they all seem to have this weird colour thing going on that I don't like. They're, they're very natural colours, but sometimes in videos you want the colours to pop a little bit. I, I, I love it anyway. Um, but I'm intrigued as to what's the best, you know. I guess every user is different, but I would also be keen on using 
Ah, where's the chilli sauce? There it is. I'd also be keen on using the camera to do videos, like, you know the videos where I sit at my desk and film myself speaking? Like, say for instance, the eBay videos or an IMNC Q&A. Um, I'd be very interested in using a camera with good autofocus to do that because I'm a one-man show and I can't autofocus this uh, this camera. I can't manual focus this camera when I'm sitting at that desk. I have to get someone else to do it. And even then, um, it's really not ideal. So, I don't know what to say. Camera stress. I think that's what I'll call it camera stress but I'm in work for a lot this afternoon and I don't have any jobs to do on my computer you know I could get through my emails and stuff which would be a really good idea um, but I could do a lot of camera research when I'm at work um, depending on what it's like in work today so I'll see how it goes so a bit of food later and everything is good it is 13:25 on this delightful Monday evening <laughs> afternoon Oh gosh, um, I was going to see if I could have a little look at the Mac Mini G4 before I went to work but I seriously have not got the horsepower uh, to do that so I'm going to chill for the next half an hour or so, half an hour, 45 minutes until I've got to go to work. Um, yeah, interesting, interesting this whole camera situation, interesting, please give me some recommendations if you have any because if there's one thing that I'm not, I'm not a camera expert. I know what I like and I know what I don't like. I don't like crap cameras, I like good cameras with the features that I like and that is literally it. Don't start talking to me about lenses and and stuff, you know, I have no idea. So I've got four eBay items left on. Um, the box Dreamcast controller sold like I told you guys. The Mega Drives won't be long, um, I've got a counter offer, a very fair counter offer that I sent to someone so I assume they're going to accept. Um, but the odd thing is, you know, the rare GameCube controller is a bit of an odd one. But these Game Boy bundles are a good price and they've, they've got no watches, so that's a bit odd. Um, I'll go through later and check categories and stuff like that and maybe put out a tweet or two or whatever. But it's interesting because um, they are both pretty good prices. Um, but, you know, I, I'm, I have very limited patience. They've only been on for a couple of days, so I just need to wait. But, you know, clearing out, I like it to be really quick and stuff. But I've been ever so lucky with the response to my eBay listings. Um, really lucky, especially considering the Donkey Kong bongos and everything sold like that. So that is really, really good. Um, and I've only got a couple of things, you know, a couple of things sitting waiting to be sent out. Um, and the gaming pile behind me is looking very small, but I do need to get around to listing those. Maybe maybe tomorrow will uh, give me some time to do that. Tomorrow should be a pretty good day, actually, because what am I doing tomorrow? I'm in work in the morning, and then I believe I've got the rest of the day to make videos and ge generally work from here, so that should be pretty good. Um, yeah. One thing that I think I'm going to do before going to work now is just give the desk a little bit of a tidy because it's this is how it all starts, you know, this is how it gets uh, messy in the first place. So this will literally only take me a few minutes, it's just leftovers from the Mac Mini and stuff. Um, so that's pretty important I think, just so that I've got a blank canvas to start work from again tomorrow, which would be nice. You know, the room could do with a bit of a spruce up, but actually it's looking okay after the tidy earlier, um, the tidy the other day, sorry. It's literally those few boxes that I got left there, and as soon as I get rid of those, I can sort that, and as soon as I sort that, I'll tackle the wardrobe, which is going to be an interesting series of videos, <laughs> put it like that. God knows what's underneath there, there are laptops and all sorts, so that would be very entertaining. And of course, waiting on part five with this guy, this guy here, this lovely pain in the ass. <laughs> But no, it's going to be great once it's all up and running properly. So you will see a desk transformation very soon. There we go, literally like 40 seconds later, all sorted. This pile here is just um, a wedding video that I've got to do. And this is the stuff that is currently on eBay that needs to be sent out very soon. Uh, this is my bag that I'll be taking to work, of course. That's the stuff that needs to be listed still. Um, that's a load of junk, but yeah. I'm getting there. We are getting there slowly, guys. We are organising ourselves, or I'm organising myself, and you guys are watching. It is two o'clock, and time for me to change jumpers. Which is a fairly simple process, if I can locate my work jumper. There's one here. And I'm going to do the ultimate test. 
yeah, it's fine. It smells absolutely fine. Look forward to a transformation. We are now prepped and ready to go. 14.03, I need keys and a wallet, which is always handy. Attach my wallet to myself with a chain. And some of the 12 year olds around here like to claim that I'm a goth because I have a chain, which is always very amusing. Um, great, good. Keys on a robe thing. What do you call these rope things? Key rope things? I have no idea. There's a car pulling up outside my house. Ah, use of the post box. One of the many facilities that we have in this village. Post box. Wonderful. Next mission, guys, is to... Um, I'm kind of going wonky with my camera work. Moving the camera all over the place, apologies. Next mission is to brush my teeth. I should have said Roby. 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 Uh, Roby moving heads. Roby lighting technologies. Um, I am constantly corrected by some of my more tech savvy friends. And by tech savvy, I mean, you know, lighting tech savvy. I'm quite lighting tech savvy, but I'm not in the industry. I'm not in the thick of the industry. So pronunciation of certain words and stuff is not great with me. Um, but I believe it is Roby. But we've never got show budgets big enough to hire them in, so stuff it. So I'm now ready to go, guys. I'm just shutting down my computer. Ah, shut down. I've got my peaked cap because it's quite bright outside. Got a slightly kind of raincoatish coat because it's been raining. Quick time check. Uh, 1408. And let's have a look. 1408, power saver mode is not on, which is good, because I can't see my phone outside when power saver mode is on. Um, now, I was going to take my camera to work with me, but unfortunately, guys, it's just too big. I'm not going to do that. Um, normally, what I used to do with my camcorder is just sort of kind of carry it all the way there in my hand and sometimes film some cycling and whatnot. Um, but I'm not going to do that. Rest assured that when I get another vlog camera, when I get a little Canon um, point and shoot or whatever I'm going to decide to get. Rest assured that there will be much more roaming around outside and in other parts of my life. Um, but at the moment I can't really do that. My the, the DSLR case for this pretty much fills the main compartment of my bag. And I've got my MacBook Pro, I've got my iPad, I've got a change of clothes for later. Um, in case I'm not coming home after work. So, um... Just grabbing a pack of tissues because my allergies are terrible at the moment. Um, yeah, so long story short is I can't take the camera and I'm not going to risk taking it without the case. That's just stupid because if I damage it, then that's going to be a massive inconvenience, especially considering I'm halfway through a series or well, more than halfway through, but you know, I've got part five left to do and I want it to have consistent quality with the rest. My Superman trainers are holding out very, very well. They are nice shoes that I've had for quite a while now. When these wear out, I'm not sure if I'm going to get another pair of trainers like this. I don't know, 20 years old. You know, 21 this year. Am I getting too old to get sort of brightly coloured superhero themed trainers? I don't really know. Anyway, I'm coming back up here to drop the camera off. Guys, I wish I could take you with me. I'm really in the mood to vlog, as you can probably tell, but it's just not going to happen. And I'm not, I can't take my camcorder because it's 1080i and, and it's really annoying doing a uh, timeline for both. It's totally different. So anyway, guys, hope you're all good. I will give you a little update tomorrow or later or something. What is up, everyone? It is Tuesday and it is 10 to 4. Um, so what I've really got to do is start editing this vlog so it gets out for today. Um, but I've got a few cool things to show you first. Nothing that groundbreaking. I really wish that I had other parcels arrive today, but they'll be coming tomorrow, hopefully. Or maybe even later, the uh, the tracking is a little bit bleak at the moment. Um, I'm wait I was waiting on two sets of stuff. I was waiting on loads of DVD stuff to come to do some wedding DVDs. Um, you know, labels, covers, discs, blah, blah, blah. And I was waiting on some really exciting packages for my server duties, which have not come. So, you know, the boring ones have come, and I'm not even ready to start the wedding video yet. But it doesn't matter. Let me show you what I've got. 
So first off, I've got uh, 10 Lightscribe DVD-Rs. I was meant to order two packs of these to get 20. Only ordered one pack. I thought they'd only sent me one by mistake, but turns out I didn't up the uh, quantity when I originally ordered. Well done, me. Um, there's my receipt. There's a thing that came with it. Um, I do have some countersunk hard drive screws, which is a little clue as to what I'll be getting. This is for the server uh, the server package that I've got. So the screws have arrived, which is great, because if I was waiting on those, then I couldn't, couldn't get going with that. Here I have some A4 um, DVD cover templates, which uh, lines up with a Photoshop template that I have, which is great. These are quite cheap for what they are, because they're nice, um, thick, card but they're not shiny or anything like that it's like photo paper but it isn't these are these are really nice and it's um it's fairly cheap and i also have 20 uh standard plastic dvd cases which is cool so i believe i've got um 10 copies to do for the wedding video but people always end up wanting more so yeah i haven't done anything like this for a while and it's um it's pretty cool actually it's a nice it's a nice money spinner because it's not a lot of brain work, it's not a lot of head work. The only thing that it is, is time consuming to um, individually print out all of these labels and stuff. You know, I've only got a consumer printer, so all of that stuff takes quite a while for me. Um, but it's okay. And talking of um, printers, actually, I can't get started yet because I've actually ordered new ink for my printer with the 10 new DVDs. So once they arrive, I'll get going. And also, as you may have seen, these are Lightscribe discs. Don't know if you can see there, Lightscribe. Um, they want Lightscribe labels on them as well, which is the only disc labeling service that I can offer people um, because of my, you know, hardware limitations. Um, but yeah, that's that. They're here, taking up a load of space. Can't wait for them to be gone. Um, but yeah, I need to actually do the business first. So hopefully these will be out of my sight within the next two weeks. That would be great. Um, but I've got to make a start on the video. And if you're wondering these days how, if you if you edit videos for people and you do this kind of thing, DVD copies and stuff, how does it come in? Well, it basically comes in like this. If you didn't film it, they'll give you an SD card. Someone filmed it. All the footage is on here, which is much easier. When I used to do this back in the day, I, I remember one project I did, I had eight mini DV camcorder tapes that I had to import, um, which was gigabytes and gigabytes worth off of DV tapes through Firewire. So, you know, I had my G5 back then when I did that project, but these days with the SD cards, it is so much easier. Um, and they've written me a little post-it note as to what I've got to write on the DVD cover and job done, really easy. And it's cool that I haven't filmed it because any mistakes in filming, I don't have to worry about. So it takes all pressure off of me um, because I wasn't the one that filmed it. So really it's an easy job, but like I said, time consuming to get all these labels printed. I mean, once you get everything lined up properly, um, I've got 20 of these as well. I want 20 of everything because guaranteed they'll want eventually want about 15 or 16 copies. So that gives me a lot of room to mess up. You know, I can mess up a few discs, I can mess up a few templates. Obviously I'm not gonna try and mess them up. It'd be handy to have a few for spare, but um, yeah, it's all good. It is all good. It is exactly bang on five o'clock and I've just finished editing the video that you've just watched. So I've, um, this is the last clip in the vlog. I would love to continue vlogging guys, but I've got to get this out to you guys today. Thank God that I made the decision to switch to 720p in my vlogs, because otherwise I would definitely not get this video out. It is much longer than I thought it was. Um, to give you an update on what I'll be doing for the rest of the day, um, I'll be working on this video and the thumbnail um, for the next few minutes. And once I've done that, it's all boring stuff, so you're not missing out on anything, guys. I've got a bit of bookkeeping to do. I'm about two weeks behind on my, on my bookkeeping, so I've got to do some receipt work. Um, some invoice work and all of that jazz and other than that I've got a few little bits and bobs to do I could really really do with filming another video so I may do that because I've got a couple of things to do with my Mac Pro I need to put another hard drive in it from upstairs swap out the burner for my Lightscribe burner that's in my MDD I also need to shift my graphics cards around because I've got my 2600 XT in a 4x slot and it's very slow and sluggish Hope it's the fault of the 4X slot, because if it's the card, then I'm going to switch back to using my GT640 for all three displays. Um, because it is noticeably slower, and I thought it would be quicker. So it's probably the slot I've got it in. Let's just hope. 
Um, and that is pretty much it, guys. Maybe I'll start the template for these wedding DVD covers, but doubtful because I'm still, I've got to wait for ages for ink to come in anyway, so it makes no difference. But if you made it to the end of the vlog, um, let's think about something really cool that you could... Because what I've noticed, something that's happening now, is people are right... If they see other people commenting, I made it to the end, they are simply copying what other people have commented, right? So if you made it to the end of the video, even if you never comment, right, this is a cool game, right in the comment section, let's think of something random off the top of my head, just comment with your favourite animal, just write the name of your animal or something, like my favourite animal is a giraffe, I think they're badass. Um, so yeah, that would be that. That's a bit of fun. Oh my god, I must be sad. But no, yeah, do that, guys. So the people just see loads of animal comments, and that'll be quite funny if anyone gets to the end of this video. Anyway, so yeah, I want to see just like a list of comments saying like pig, um, uh, snake, Tyrannosaurus Rex, that kind of thing. So. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, oh god, I've got to import this last clip and I'm going to call it a day for this video before I go totally insane. Hope you've enjoyed this vlog guys and remember if you've got any camera recommendations then give me a shout. I, I love the S120 by the looks of it, but I'm not settled. I'm open to all suggestions. Um, thanks for watching. Awesome stuff. Thank you for watching. That's pretty much all I've got to say. Take it easy guys. I'll see you in tomorrow's video.